bubbles are on the rise. Carbonated water consumption is growing year on year. But is carbonated water as good for you as regular water? It can feel like something of a healthy cheat, especially for those who are trying to cut down on their pop consumption but still crave bubbles. But unless you're making it yourself at home with a carbonation system or buying carbonated water that comes from a natural source, the name brands that are sold alongside bottles of pop at the supermarket can contain sneaky amounts of sugar or sodium. However, on the whole, there is no evidence that carbonated or sparkling water is bad for us. But you should always read the label to watch out for added sugar and salt. A common mistake people make is thinking that tonic water and soda water are the same. Tonic water can be very high in sugar and sodium. In fact, you could exceed your daily sugar allowance with just one bottle of tonic water. Let's answer some questions relating to regular water and carbonated. 1. Carbonated water isn't as hydrating as regular water. That's just plain wrong. The only difference is the added carbonation and several studies have backed this up. However, the bubbles may be a detriment to those who need to rehydrate after a workout because the carbonation may make you feel fuller or cause some gastric rumbling. Also, gym lovers generally don't want a fizzy drink post-workout. 2. Carbonated water erodes tooth enamel Don't worry, sparkling water isn't damaging your teeth. According to the American Dental Association, although sparkling water has a slightly higher acid level than plain water, it's fine for teeth. Tooth erosion can result from drinking sweetened carbonated beverages due to their acidity. However, carbonated water does not have the same effect, and there's no evidence that it erodes tooth enamel. There's one caveat. If you're prone to add lemon or lime to your carbonated water, you could be upping the acidity levels. 3. Carbonated water causes osteoporosis. There's no evidence that carbonation has harmful effects on our bones. Carbonated soft drinks, or cola on the other hand, have been associated with reduced bone density in women in some studies. However, that's likely due to the phosphoric acid that's added to the soft drinks, not the carbonation. 4. Carbonated water causes constipation. Believe it or not, some people think the added carbonation could have a gastrointestinal effect, and some researchers believe this is worth investigating. However, there's no evidence that carbonated water causes constipation. But it's possible if you're consuming extra air that you may experience burping and or bloating and flatulence. So as you can see, there's no evidence to suggest that carbonated or sparkling water is bad for you. It's not harmful to dental health, and it seems to have no effect on bone health. It's also a calorie-free beverage that causes a pleasurable bubbly sensation. Many people prefer it over water. There's no reason to give up this beverage if you enjoy it. In fact, it may even improve your overall health. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on 29 incredible benefits of drinking baking soda water daily. Thanks for watching. And bye for now.